of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Well, you sure you're warm enough, Jerry? Sure I am. It's nice and warm here in the sun. Well, Jerry, how do you like your new job? Water and horses? Oh, all right. Well, you know, there's lots of opportunities around the circus. If you just keep your eyes and ears open, you may work yourself into a really good job. Uh-huh. Oh, say, Bump. Mm, yes? Do you often have thieves and robbers around a circus? Well, well, why? Well, it's a funny thing. When I went into the horse tent this morning, Whitey was awful upset. What about? Well, for the past few days, he's been missing a bale or two of alfalfa every time he goes to feed the Arabians. Hmm, well, that's strange. I don't see how anybody could carry a bale of alfalfa away without being noticed. Do you? And he says it's happened a lot lately, too. <laughs> well, it sounds like a good mystery. I think I'll try and find out what it's all about. Well, good for you. It's certainly worth keeping your eyes open anyhow, Jerry. And Whitey would sure be grateful. I like him a lot. Yeah, Whitey's all right. You know... There's an awful lot of nice people in this circus. Jason and Patsy and, and, of course, you and Mr. Randall. You know, I like Decker, too. I think he's swell, beard and all. <laughs> yeah, he seems like a nice fella. Um, I, I wonder why he wears that beard. Oh, probably thinks that it'll help the act. What do you mean? Well, when he's standing there waiting for Lorenz to throw all those knives at him, he may think he just looks more mysterious or dignified or something. Or if he gets scared, maybe he thinks the beard will cover his face so it won't show. <laughs> well, you may be right, Jerry. And instead of putting on a false beard every day, he just decided to grow his own. Exactly. You know, I think it makes him look a whole lot older than he really is. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. He, he's nice to Rags, too. Oh, well, that's probably the real reason you like him. And Rags likes him, too. Oh, say, speaking of Rags, I forgot to tell you, I talked with Mr. Randall about your dog working in my act. And just like I told you, he promised to pay you. Really, Bump? Pay me for letting Rags work with you? Yeah, and then, of course, there's your salary as a water boy, too. <laughs> Boy, you're getting to be a regular businessman. Golly, isn't that swell? Yeah, I guess you'd better see uh, Jim Bennett the first chance you get and be sure your name's on the payroll. Well, who's Jim Bennett? Uh, he's paymaster and bookkeeper of the circus. Uh, you'll find him in the office wagon. Oh, I know. He's the man I talked to when I was trying to find Mr. Randall that first day to give him Dad's note. Mm, now, let's see. Oh, why, today's payday. He should be coming back from town with the payroll money pretty soon. Now, now as soon as your shirt's dry, you better take a run over there and be sure your name's on the books. You bet I will. Gee, getting paid for letting your dog learn tricks. That's something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tighten this one now. Got a little sag up there. Okay. Well, here comes Jim. Must be about noon. Yeah, he's regular as clockwork with that payroll. Yeah, he better be. Hi, Jim. Looks like payday is with us again. Hi, boys. Yep, you're right after lunch. 
Guess you won't need a formal invitation. Yeah, an empty pocket. <laughs> Hmm. Funny. It's kind of locked. You in there, Mr. Randall? Oh, I see. So, it worked just like I planned. If you didn't see who hit you on the head, huh, Bennett? You sleep now, and the birdies are singing. Hey, bolt that door from the inside. Okay, Decker. Is the coast clear? No one saw us, or Bennett either. Not a soul around except those stickers tightening up those ropes. What? They're on the other side of the tent. They didn't see a thing. Good. You see, it was easy. Uh, quick now. Tie him up and hurry before he comes to. Here, help me with this blindfold. Why? So he won't recognize us if he comes to. <laughs> think I'm a fool? You certainly think of everything. Here, get that uh, money in your pocket. Here, I'll take those 50. Here, now the gun. I'll throw it here on the floor. See? First I wipe off the fingerprints. Have we got to plant this one, Jason? Of course. What do I care who takes the blame as long as we don't? Uh, We'll just go on as if nothing has happened. Stay with the show for a while. Then when we are sure no one suspects us, we can quit. But why can't we quit now? And have them know we've run away? Why, they'd have the police out after us and every train watched. Lorenz. Quiet, fool. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett. It's Jerry. Quiet. He'll go away. Mr. Bennett. Well, Rags, guess he isn't here yet. Want to take a walk? <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Hello, Spike. Where are you going? Just walking around waiting for Mr. Bennett. Yeah, he's in the office wagon. Oh, but I... Sure, he was headed there a few minutes ago. I saw him. Oh, well, thanks. Okay, son. Bye. Gee, that's funny. Come on, Rags. We'd better see Bunk. <laughs> My golly, you're right. Here he comes now and talking to Mr. Randall, too. Oh, hello there, Jerry. Well, you through so soon? No, I... Uh, hello, Mr. Randall. Hello, Jerry. I uh, just sent Jerry over to see Jim Bennett to check about getting his name on the payroll. Oh, good. You got it straightened out, Jerry? No, he, he wasn't there. Huh? He, he wasn't in the office wagon? Uh-uh. I knocked a couple of times. Well, that's funny, Sam. He's usually there paydays at this time. Mm -hmm. One of the stakers said he was headed for the office wagon just a little while ago. But he didn't answer when I knocked and, and the door was locked. Mm, that's funny. Well, maybe he just stepped out for a minute, Sam. Hmm? Uh, he's never done that before. He usually stays right in his wagon till everybody's paid off. I can't understand him going off and leaving that money in the wagon. I even called his name a couple of times, Mr. Randall. Hmm. I'd better go over there and see what it's all about. You want to come along, Jerry? Sure. Come, Bump? No, no. I got to check with Joe about a prop he's fixing for me. All right. See you later, Bump. Yeah, all right. Bye, Sam. Well, Jerry, Bumps tells me you and Whitey are getting along fine. We sure are, Mr. Randall. Well, that's fine, son. <laughs> and you're getting along all right with the work, too? Oh, sure. I, I like horses. Mm. Uh, you think you might uh, turn into a trick rider someday? Well, I don't know. I don't know whether I'd like to be a wild animal trainer or an aerialist or a <laughs> trick rider. Or, or, gee, I'd even like to be a clown like Bumps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you do like the circus, don't you, Jerry? Golly, I sure do, Mr. Randall. Mm. Well, here we are. Let's see if Ben is here now. Oh, that's funny. The door isn't locked. Oh. Jim! Jim! He's hurt his... He's hurt... Gee, Rags, get away from there. Come here. Great. Oh, quick, yeah. quick, Jerry, help me untie him here. Golly, look at that bump on his head. Uh, get some water in that pool over there, Jerry. Yes, sir. Jim. Jim, old boy. This looks bad. Wait a minute. The pay money. It's gone. Here's the bag he carries it in empty. Hey, here's some water, Mr. Randall. All right, good. Let's put some on his head here. All right, that's good. It's coming around now. Jim. Jim, it's Randall. Oh, oh my head. Yeah, here, Jim. Drink this water. Take it easy. That's it. You'll be all right in a minute now. Gee, gee, boss. I, oh, oh, wait a minute. Golly, what a blow. Uh, what happened? Well, I, I came up the stairs. I noticed the latch was off the door, so I, well, I figured you were in there. And I opened the door, then, oh! Uh, take it easy, Jim. Uh, where's the payroll? It's gone. Every bit of it. All but the bag. No. Oh, what a break. 
Jerry. Mr. Randall, yeah? there's a gun on the floor. Oh, uh, don't touch it, Jerry. Why not? Uh, it might have fingerprints on it. Here, I'll use my handkerchief. Mm. Huh. Jim, it looks like Jason's missing gun. What? Jason's gun? Yeah, it looks like it. 45 caliber automatic. Huh. And a, uh, number huh. 873961. That might be the number. It sounds familiar. You, you don't think Jason did this, do you, Mr. Randall? Well, I... uh, That's right, Mr. Randall. Jason lost one of his guns, remember? You told me about it yourself. Yeah, I know. Well, probably the guy who took it planned this on purpose to throw suspicion away from him. Uh, yeah, and it's also possible that uh, yeah. Jason reported his gun missing to divert suspicion. Oh, but Mr. Randall, Jason wouldn't do anything crooked. When you've lived as many years as I have, Jerry, you won't judge people by appearances. A man may seem like a straight shooter, and yet underneath the... Look here, boss. Yeah? Part of this gun handle is broken off. Oh, yeah. Probably broke off when the gun hit the floor. Maybe the piece is lying around here somewhere. Golly, a pretty big piece broke off, huh? I don't see it around any place. Uh, you better get to a doctor and have him look you over, Jim. I'm going to have my hands full with this business. Well, what about the payroll, boss? I'll have to tell the folks at lunch, I guess. They're all in the mess tent now. Well, I'll see you later, Jim. Uh, think you can manage to get to the doctor? Oh, sure. I'm okay. Uh, do you want Jerry to go along? No, I'll be fine. I'd like to go with you, Mr. Bennett, please. Uh, okay, if you feel that way. Oh, uh, Jim, huh? be sure to drop in my office when you get back. I'll, uh, I'll have to talk with, with Jason and... Okay, I'll, I'll be there. Uh, so long, boss. Uh, goodbye. Come on, Rags. <laughs> well, young fella, some funny things can happen around a circus lot, can't they? Golly, I'll say so. But... Well, what is it, son? You don't think it was Jason, do you? No, to tell you the truth, I don't. But, but Mr. Randall said... I cleared up with all sorts of strange things since I joined this outfit. But one thing I'll say for him, he's pretty fair. Well, oh, I'm sure he is. But he's got a gift for putting his finger on the right guy. I, I'm just sure Jason didn't do it. Well, we'll hope he can clear himself. And if he can't? If he can't, I'd say Jason was in pretty hot water. Thank you.